Now at the final stages, no medical been scheduled yet, and there's still some details to clarify between Arsenal and Ajax. Looks like a matter of time, though, and Mick Arteta will have one more uh, top signing, and you know who that's going to be. It's going to be West Ham's defensive midfielder. Declan Rice. This seems like a good opportunity to review the three signings that are in or set to come into the Emirates Stadium ready for the Premier League start uh, this August. First of all, Kai Havertz. I've said all along, I don't think he gets ahead of Odegaard. I think he's a bench player at the moment unless he earns his place. Um, can Arteta develop him like he's developed other younger players? Yes, I think he can. But I think that right now, right at this moment in time, I don't have much confidence that Havertz can thrive at Arsenal in terms of being a starter week in, week out. I see him only, at the minute, on paper, and this might be brutally honest and harsh, but at the moment, I only see Havertz featuring in the early stage of the Europa League, uh, or the Champions League now, obviously, for Arsenal. I think if Arsenal was still in the Europa League, he would feature in the group matches and some of the knockout matches. With this being the Champions League, I would see Havertz featuring in the Champions League group stages. I see him becoming a, a sort of impact sub in a Champions League knockout game. I see him starting some Premier League games if they decide to play certain people in the group stage of the Champions League. So I think he just comes in every now and then in certain games. I think he'll start at least half the games this season, but I don't think he will get involved in every single game this season. I think that's purely and simply because of the fact that Odegaard is a better player on paper. Timber, hybrid, versatile, um, good defensive player, a solid defensive signing for Arsenal, which looks like it's going to be over the line at some point in time uh, before the start of the season. Um, like I said, hybrid, works certain ways, um, ticks certain boxes. I think defensively he's solid, he's structured. Uh, I think he's a, um, a, a decent player on and off the ball. I think that his physical, uh, his physical attributes are, are, are decent and very, very good. Uh, and I think he'll combine his duty with certain roles. I think he'll perform certain tasks at Arsenal. Um, does this warrant the exit of Partey and Xhaka, especially with Declan Rice coming in or looking to be coming in now? Uh, I would say yes. I think Xhaka will be given the green light to go now. I think Partey will be given the move either to Europe or Saudi Arabia. So I think it's going to be very interesting to see what Timber's role will be week in, week out at Arsenal. Whether it will be... Uh, obviously, we know he'll be starting or, or competing to start. Will he be in the back four? Will he be in the defensive midfield? I think it's going to be very interesting to see indeed.